Have you ever been out on a shoot and somebody screwed up the mic gain or your subject was too loud? Yeah, I had my Rode Wireless Go with me and I had it plugged into my GoPro on a recent shoot and it uh, it totally went sideways on me. So, A, that gives me a chance to play with Fairlight in DaVinci Resolve and fix my audio and B, teach you how to fix your audio when it's clipping. So, welcome back to Creator Reality, my friend. Look, I got lucky. I had the Nikon Z30 there with the Rode Video Micro shotgun mic on it and most of my speaking was in front of that or to that. And the other camera is my Sony ZV-1. And I actually use the built-in mic from that. And we're gonna play back the audio from all three cameras so you can hear the difference between, you know, something that's usable, something that's semi-usable. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna fix this. So let's get into DaVinci Resolve and take a look at what we're working with. So here I was on the shoot wearing the same t-shirt as today, go figure. But there's my Rode Wireless Go transmitter. It's right there on the collar of my t-shirt. And I was filming a video for this channel. We'll see it soon. But I've got my GoPro, Sony, and Nikon set up here. And I've, I haven't done anything to the audio. And zooming in here, you can see that we're hitting the peaks all over the place. So you can see this GoPro footage absolutely is just peaking everywhere it hits the top or bottom of this waveform, it's peaking. When you look at the Sony footage, we have a lot more background noise, but you can still kind of make out the voice, the uh, the words I'm speaking. And then if we make this smaller, you can see the Nikon has less background noise and clearer voice. And if I zoom way in, you can see that while this is peaked, there's plenty of headroom here and here. I'm a loud person, I talk, in my dad voice all the time. So it wasn't too surprising that this thing being this close picked up everything. It should have been down here or further off frame. Um, I could have put it on the brim of my hat, I suppose, and it would have been better. I'm kind of look at the preview screen, make sure I'm showing you the right stuff. I'm showing you the right stuff, right? Boop the like button. You haven't learned anything. Don't boop the like button. But this thing is really sensitive. And had I used a less sensitive lapel mic plugged into it, would have been better, but I didn't. And like I said earlier, the gain on the receiver was just set to maximum. So it's gonna pick up everything, as you're gonna hear in just a moment. Let's get back into it. So let's go over to the Fairlight tab. If you've never been here, let's take a quick look around. We have all of our effects on the left, and if you click effects, they disappear. Our timeline is here, and you can drag down to see the waveform. And real quick, we're gonna listen to one section of here. So if you want to play back just a loop, we're gonna zoom in here. We wanna start here, I think. Yeah, right there. We're gonna press the I key and we're gonna to come to about here and press the O key, not the zero, but the O. And then we're gonna click on the loop icon up here. And that way, when we come to the start, I just click near it, right? We're gonna hit play and it's gonna play all the way through. Well, that worked out better than I thought it would. That was pretty cool, right? And all I had to do was hold the trigger button. Now, if we mute the GoPro, unmute the Sony, and we'll play it back. Well, that worked out better than I thought it would. That was pretty cool, right? And all I had to do was hold the trigger button. You can really hear the background noise a lot heavier in the Sony, but that totally makes sense. It was a windy day, and I had no wind muff on that microphone. But then we play back the Nikon, well, that worked out better than I thought it would. That was pretty cool, right? And all I had to do was hold the trigger button. Well, that. And already you hear a big difference. So we have the GoPro, which is blown out, it's clipped. We have the Sony, which sounds okay, but there's a lot of background noise. And we have the Nikon, which has the best audio. And obviously that's what I'm gonna use for the final video. But I really wasn't sure which was gonna be picked up best and if I was gonna be doing talking, because I was kind of experimenting. And we'll get into that in the other video. So this was just a great case of, I screwed one thing up, but the other two are okay and usable. So we're gonna roll with those. We are gonna fix the Sony audio later, but for now, we're going to just focus on this GoPro footage. So FYI, these are mute buttons, and you also have solo and arm for record, but we're not gonna talk about that today. We just wanna focus on the GoPro footage. So the way to fix this, there's several things that we can do. And the first thing we're gonna do is make sure we have our effects open. We're gonna go down to audio effects, Fairlight effects, and we're gonna grab 
the dialog processor and you just drag it right over here next to where it says GoPro, drop it on and it gives you this window. For the purposes of this tutorial, we don't even have to mess with any of this. All we have to do is change it from default to male VO, that's male voiceover. If you're a female, you can change it to female. This starts the help, okay? Next thing we wanna do is add a vocal channel. So we'll scroll down. We're gonna grab the vocal channel, drag it to the same place. We'll leave it on default, but we're gonna enable high pass and we're gonna crank it all the way up. This gets rid of a lot of the boominess at the low end of the waveform. And really the order that we're doing these in, adding them over here and you can see under effects here, you gotta make sure you do them in the right order. Feel free to play around with this if it doesn't quite fix your audio. But we're gonna grab noise reduction and we're gonna drag it onto our track. And then we're gonna select de-rumble and hiss and we're gonna click learn. And then we're gonna play it back. Well, that worked out and you'll see it that it makes a big cool, difference, right? or you'll hear it rather. Hold the trigger button. Well, that worked out better. So now with those three added, let's play it back. Well, that worked out better than I thought it would. That was pretty cool, right? And all I had to do was hold the trigger button. That already sounds a whole lot better, doesn't it? There is one more trick that we need to apply, and it's a big one. If you listen to this, there's still a little bit of kind of boomy muffledness, and we're going to get rid of that next. And this really will depend on your specific clip that you're trying to fix. But it's in the EQ. So with our line here, if you click it once, it turns it off, it turns gray. Click it again, it turns on. But if you double click it, it opens up this window. And to fix this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna enable band one and we're gonna bring it down and over a little bit. And then band two, we're gonna bring way over. Band three is gonna get pulled way over here and then band four, we're gonna turn off. And now band three, we need to bring over, and I've already done this several times, but if I press the space bar, it'll play in the background so you can listen to it. And basically you're gonna spend a lot of time playing with this, but I brought five up over here. And then here's the kicker. So with band three, it's right here. We wanna change the Q factor to about three and a half and see how that makes it narrower and wider, we wanna bring that to about three and a half, and then we should be good. We wanna bring this frequency up a little bit. They don't have to be exact, but they should be close. I'm gonna bring this one over, and now we should move this out of the way, bring our playhead back to the start, and we're gonna play it. Well, that worked out better than I thought it would. That was pretty cool, right? And all I had to do was hold the trigger button, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Now you can boop the like button because you learned how to tinker with this audio and this is all available in the free version of DaVinci Resolve and you can fix this muddiness and blown outness. So let's go back and take a look at our Sony footage, which I do plan to use in the final, well, the audio anyway, in the final video. And we're gonna apply a studio only feature to get rid of the background noise. So let's go do that. Back in the edit page, I have my ins and outs from Fairlight, I'll press Alt-X to get rid of those because there is there is a loop here, but we don't need it. But on our Sony footage, we're gonna click on the audio track. So not a clip, this is a clip selected, it's red, right? I'm gonna click on the track and you see up here, it says track level. See how that changes? So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna change our audio heights to be a little bit narrower and click away from that. And that'll give us more room to work with because I'm gonna bring this down here. And when you're limited on monitor space, you really gotta be careful, right? So now we've got our inspector open. It's right there if you don't see it. We're gonna click on the Sony track. It says track level. And we're gonna to go to voice isolation. Click the gray dot, it turns red, and the amount is 100. So if I play this back. Well, that worked out better than I thought it would. That was pretty cool, right? There's no background noise. But if I bring this down to about 50, Come on, get 50, type it in. Ugh. Now it'll sound much better, take a listen. Well, that worked out better than I thought it would. That was pretty cool, right? So there you have it. Our audio is fixed. We got rid of the clipping, mostly. I mean, you can't quite get rid of it all, but you can make it much more usable. If you can't re-record it, at least you have something you can use, right? So anyway, I hope you learned something. Boop the like button, hit the share button, all that other stuff. Please consider subscribing. We're growing over here. We've got some good stuff going on. If you have something you want to learn and resolve, please drop a comment below. And if you learned anything today, I'd love to hear the feedback. So comment about that as well. I hope you're having a great day. 
Go check out this video next, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.